influence your workplace and create a signature is what we want to talk about in this particular session I want to encourage you to make sure that you have a copy uh, of our textbook for this session it's work your signature there's a few left uh, make sure that you get your copy tonight before you leave developing a work signature Webster defines signature as a handwritten and sometimes stylized depiction of someone's name nickname or even a simple X that a person writes on documents as a proof of identity and intent the traditional function of a signature is to give evidence of a couple of things number one give evidence of the identity of a document the intention of an individual with regard to the document signed we all are familiar with the term John Hancock though we've never met the fellow but we are familiar with that term it describes a signature they say put your John Hancock what they mean is to put your signature on this some signatures are known by a special mark on a memo some are assigned that authenticates an instrument writing or subscription but I want to tell you a little bit of how this book came into being I was studying the Bible and preparing to do a series and the more I studied the Bible the more I realized that God had a signature for everything he did everything he did he put his signature on it so that you would know only God could have done this everything he did we begin in Genesis when we look at how he created the earth you look at the beauty of the earth you look at a flower you look at a at a rose you look at a hibiscus flower and you see the gradations of color and you realize only God could have done that he put his signature on it you look in the Old Testament at the miracles that God performed and you realize that only God could have done that and what I love about God's signature is the more I study the more I realized that God simply waited many times until the situation was such that when he performed a miracle there would be no doubt as to who did it because only he could do it and he put his signature to what he did who else could cause lions to go to sleep when there's meat available some of you that slow that's Daniel who else can do that only God can cause hungry lions to look at fresh meat and not touch it only God who else could preserve three Hebrew boys thrown in a fire the fellows who threw them in got burned but they're in the fire as if it's air conditioned he puts his signature on what he does only God can do those things and so as I studied the Bible the more I studied the more I saw that God had a signature so I started to study this thing I said man this is deep let me study this some more and then I began to see more and more that all of us because we were created in God's image and in God's likeness our work which is a reflection of our ability from God should have a signature people ought to be able to recognize that you did something by the way you do it 
Now, the thing is this. I found out that people do recognize what you do. Unfortunately, many times it's a negative recognition. They say, oh yeah, she did that. Look at how it's done. Look at how poorly it's done. Look at how halfway it's done. That's not the kind of signature you want. You want to create a signature like the one you are from. I said like the one you are from. I said like the one you are from. You came out of him. So your signature, your work signature should be that of excellence. People ought to be able to see and know that you did that without even seeing you do it because your signature ought to be one of excellence and when I begin to study this thing it changed me because I begin to realize that if I'm going to put my signature to something if I'm going to create a signature of excellence I've got to take special care about how I do what I do now, when, when this revelation becomes real to you, it changes you. Because you become now more conscious of how you do what you do. Because you are, in fact, every single day of your life, creating a signature. It's a matter of what kind of signature it's going to be. You know, when people observe your work ethics... And leadership traits they should be able to see a mark on your character that is significantly different from others they ought to be able to recognize that that was you there I want to talk then about 12 signature keys how you create your signature and leave your mark 12 signature keys keys. You know, they say that Michelangelo when he was painting the Sistine Chapel they say that he not only painted what you could see but he painted behind what you can't see. Why would someone painstakingly do something like that? Keep in mind he didn't have all the modern tools and you know, pieces of equipment that they have today to go up high and do stuff. So it must have been very, very strenuous to even get up there in the first place, but then to put yourself in a position where you go behind what no one will see. Why would you do something like that? He understood, I believe, what I'm talking about. His work was his signature. And he was not satisfied until he had left a signature of excellence. See, excellence was his standard, not your standard. Your standard would have been, man, don't go behind it. No one's going to see that. Don't, don't, that's not necessary. But his standard was, I've got to do it right, whether they see it or not. Because that's my signature. Wow. Wow. What a conviction. What a conviction. Hmm. Only God could cause the very one who passed the law that any Hebrew boy that was born should be immediately killed. Only God could cause the very one who passed the law, his daughter, to go down and save a Hebrew boy. Save him by bringing him in his house. The very one who created the law.